One of the larger risk factors associated with international business operations is the idea of currency risk or foreign exchange risk. When companies deal with selling their products and producing their products all over the globe, they deal with a lot of different currencies and the impact of whether the dollar is getting stronger or weaker relative to those currencies can have a big impact on the bottom line as far as cash flows or profits available to shareholders in the US in dollar terms. So we're gonna look a little bit in this chapter at some currency situations. First thing we wanna talk about is how do we read a currency quote and how do we convert from one currency to the other. And I'm going to do a couple of examples here of converting US dollars to foreign currency using two different types of common currency quotes. First common type of currency quote that we're going to see is sometimes referred to as the direct quote our US dollar equivalent. And what that does is state the number of US dollars that we can buy per each unit of foreign currency. For example, at the time I'm recording this video, one euro can buy $1.41.37. So that's the US dollar equivalent. One euro is equal to what in US dollars? Another way to look at it is called the currency per US dollar or sometimes called the indirect quote. With the currency per US dollar or indirect quote, we're now saying how many of the foreign currency can we buy with one US dollar. So in this case, one dollar is equivalent to 0 .0, or 0 0.7074 euros. One dollar buys less than one euro. One euro buys more than one dollar. Now these are two different ways to present the currency information. They're not really two different exchange rates. They're the same exchange rate. For example, if I get my financial calculator, I can take a look and let's start with the US dollar equivalent, 1.4137, and then I'm just going to invert it. Your calculator should have a 1 over X key or 1 over Y key somewhere. So we just want to use that button. Mine's a shift, so I do shift 1 over X. And notice my answer is 0 0.7074, the same as my currency per US dollar. So these two currency quotes are just providing me the same information. Now I want to go through a currency conversion. Whenever you're converting US dollars to a foreign currency, our foreign currency to a US dollar, you're either multiplying by the exchange rate or dividing by the exchange rate. Now my problem when I was learning currency exchange rates is I can never keep track of whether I was supposed to multiply or divide. And so half the time I'd get the answer right, half the time I'd get it wrong. Until I started relying on a trick I learned in a high school chemistry class which said leave the labels in until they cancel out. If you do that, you'll always get the right answer. For instance, we want to convert $6,000 to euros using the US dollar equivalent of $1.41.37 per euro. So we're starting with dollars, $6,000. We want to end up with euros, so we want our answer to be in euros, so we need the dollars to cancel out. Well, if I have $6,000 and I multiply by $1.4137 per euro, I'm going to end up with dollars squared per euro. That's not what I want. Instead, I need the dollars to cancel out, so I need the dollar sign in the denominator here and in order for that to happen, my exchange rate looks like this. One euro per one dollar, 41.37 cents. Now I divide 6,000 by 1.4137, 
when I divide, my dollars are going to cancel out. I'm going to be left with euros. So I take 6,000, divide by 1.4137, and I get 4,244.18. Four thousand two hundred forty-four point one eight euros. So six thousand dollars is equivalent to four thousand two hundred forty-four point one eight euros at the exchange rate of one point four one three seven dollars per euro. Now I'm going to do essentially the same conversion, but now let's assume instead of giving the direct quote, I'm given an indirect quote euros per dollar. So I want to now convert $6,000 to euros and my exchange rate is 0.7074 euros per dollar. Again, I'm starting with $6,000 and I want to end up with euros. So I need the dollars to cancel out. Again, I need the dollars in the denominator. So now I know one dollar is the same as 0 0.7074 euros. Now again, my dollars are going to cancel out. I'll be left with euros. So in this case, I'm multiplying 6,000 times 0 0.7074. 6,000 times 0 0.7074, and I did that wrong, 6,000 times 0 0.7074, that gives me 4,244.40. Now notice that my two answers are essentially the same. 4,244.18 euros, 4,244.40 euros. The only difference is a rounding error. If I would have carried these exchange rates out to eight or nine decimal places, then my answers would have been exactly the same because remember the exchange rate is the same. The only difference is a rounding error situation that we have. So now we can convert dollars to euros using either exchange rate. Same process would be used to convert euros to dollars. We'd want the euros to cancel out, so we'd need to make sure the euro would be on the denominator. We'd start with euros here. We need euros in the denominator, dollars in the numerator, and that will leave us with the dollars afterwards. That walks you through currency conversions.